What is up, homies? Welcome back to Joe Main's Kitchen. If you happen to be watching this video on the day that it was released to the interwebs, well then, happy National Oatmeal Raisin Cookie Day. When I was putting together this recipe to share with you all, it still kind of turned into a challenge video. Since I remembered that we had a Trader Joe's gift card laying around, we decided we would try to get all of our ingredients from one store, Trader Joe's, duh. But when we got to the last ingredient, molasses, they didn't have it. Fun fact, they might have discontinued it or like I read online, they only carry molasses around the holiday baking season, which makes sense. So I don't know, one of those two things can be true. You take your pick, you choose which one you wanna believe, let me know in the comments below. Either way, they didn't have it. And whenever I get lost in the kitchen, that's when I reach out to our head chef. Did I hear oatmeal raisin cookies? Those happen to be my favorite. Great, because you're gonna be doing all the work. <laughs> but not all the work. I'm gonna be telling you what to do, not because I like to be the boss, but because you don't think you're the best baker. And this recipe is so easy, I wanna show you and all our friends at home that they could do it too. I'm a chef, but I didn't pass my baking course with flying colors, if you know what I mean. And we all seen how the breads turn out. Hey. I think you can handle this recipe. Since I couldn't find molasses, I asked Jermaine here what I can use instead. And like any great chef, he suggested- Google it. So I did. And Google suggests that you can add like brown sugar and water together to make your molasses substitute. There's other things on there, so I'm gonna suggest what Jermaine did. If you don't have molasses either, Google it. But we also found an organic date syrup that I thought kind of looked similar to molasses. So we're gonna try that instead. All right, so let's get started. For this recipe, we're gonna need one cup of unsalted butter, one cup of packed light or dark brown sugar, one fourth cup of granulated sugar, two large eggs, one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract, one tablespoon of molasses. But as we mentioned earlier, we're gonna be using a date syrup substitute, one and a half cups of all purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, half teaspoon of salt, three cups of old fashioned whole rolled oats, one cup of raisins, because actually it's not oatmeal raisin cookie day, it's a national oatmeal cookie day, but it's also national raisin day, so two for one. And this part is optional, but Jermaine wants to add walnuts. Plenty. All right, so let's get into it. We have all of our ingredients here on our table. You're going to need a hand mixer or a stand mixer. You have one of these bad boys, it works great. You have a hand mixer, same thing, just use your hands. We're gonna to cream together our butter along with both of our sugars. And we're gonna cream that together for about two minutes on low speed. And at that two minute mark, we're gonna add in our two eggs and beat that on high for another one minute. So it's been about two minutes and now we're gonna add in our two eggs and mix again on high for one minute. So it's been about a minute, so we're gonna go ahead and scrape down the bowl. And then when you're done scraping down the bowl to get all that off the side there, we're going to add in our vanilla and our molasses. But we don't have molasses, so we're using our date syrup. And if you don't have molasses, you can do your brown sugar and water mixture or whatever else you decide to use. So in goes our date syrup. In goes the vanilla. And then we're gonna mix this on high until it's well combined. We're gonna scrape down the bowl as needed throughout this whole thing. But after this time, we're gonna go ahead and just put that aside because we're gonna move on to the next step. And for my next magic trick, we will need a bowl and a whisk. There you go, sir. And you are going to add to that bowl your flour, your cinnamon, your baking soda, and your salt. And now that Jermaine has given that a lovely whisk for us, we will add our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. Maybe like half at a time so it doesn't go crazy. I probably didn't have to make that statement to most of you, but I know the way that his brain works. And it would just be a mess. So 
So now that our wet and dry ingredients are all mixed together, we're going to beat in our oats. See what I mean? He does bad things all the time. So anyways, we're going to add in, we're gonna beat in our oats, our raisins, and because these are for Jermaine, this is optional. He chose walnuts. Mm. So if you want walnuts, add walnuts. If you don't want walnuts, don't add them. Wah -wah. Okay. So again, <laughs> really probably them. as we do this, <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> wanna do about half at a time. This won't be as messy as a flour though. Yeah, it's really. I saw all. I literally just said, we're also gonna wanna probably add this in half. It's like fine. we did the flour. No, it's fine, look it. Jermaine just said, Jermaine earlier said I was being shady, but this is what happens. Don't this be is shady, not be a happen. lady. This is not supposed to happen in this recipe, but it's happening and we're just gonna go with it. What's wrong with it? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just saying, when it comes to baking, it's like a science. And in the kitchen, you like to just throw things together and I that works scientific. great. That works great in the kitchen, but when you're baking, it's not the same. Stress me out a little when bit. When you bake my recipes, they're the same. So at this point, we've added in the raisins. We're about to add in the walnuts. Give that a nice little mix, and we'll show you what we're gonna do next. It should look like this. Ta-da. And at this point, we are going to now use a cookie scoop, and then we're gonna let them chill in the freezer for about 30 minutes to an hour, and then bake them. And then bake, once bake, they're done bake, baking, bake, bake. he gets to eat them. Mm. So, let's do it. Okay, so Jermaine has just finished scooping out our cookie balls. And we're gonna let them chill in the freezer or the fridge anywhere from half an hour to an hour. He's probably gonna wait half an hour. All right, so it's been about half an hour and now we're gonna bake them in batches. So we're gonna do this batch first. We're gonna put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. All right, so it has been about 13 minutes and Jermaine has taken the cookies out of the oven. We're gonna let them cool for about five minutes and then I'm gonna let him attack them. Rawr. All right, so we have let the cookies cool down and now we get to eat them. Jermaine, do you want to share one? Because I'm probably not going to eat the whole thing. Yeah, it's pretty good. Two thumbs up. I have to be honest, I am not the biggest fan of oatmeal raisin cookies, but these Trader Joe main cookies, <laughs> yes, please, sign me up. I will have another one. If you enjoyed this recipe, make sure you give this video a like. If you enjoy Jermaine's presence in my videos like I do, make sure you follow him online everywhere at Major Cosmetics. I'll put it right here, here, maybe here. I don't know, somewhere here, here. And if you wanna see more of me and my silly antics, follow me online at Joseph P. Ruiz on everything. What'd you say? I was eating. I just said to follow us on everything. You enjoy your cookies. He's gonna finish eating the rest of these and then we'll see you guys on the next one. Would you make them again? Mm-hmm.